I don't know if it was like some farmer or something cutting wood. Oh, what the heck is that? Okay, so I found this photo here. No, I have never been to Paris, but that could be a Paris flag. What the heck is that? Yo, it's like a rocking horse. something right in the middle of the, uh, the pathway. It says, she lies still, a shadow in plain sight. And then there you go, again. This right now. Whoa! Yo, bro, back up! What are you gonna do? Oh, 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 oh. Right, guys so this is really really creepy so Brandon Nautica brought me to this trail I've actually never been on this and I'm already having a bad feeling about it using uh, the intent we have so we'll just check it out you can see what looks like a light up ahead. I don't know what that is. What the heck is that? Yo. I'm not even at my point yet. And we just came across this. So it's like a rocking horse. Is there anything in the bottom? No. What does that say? I don't know what this says. GB6ZZ57C. But there's a tape recorder there. There's definitely something going on tonight, I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna have to put that in my pack for sure. I just don't wanna leave any evidence behind. This is crazy. Like I had a feeling that something was going down, I just did not know what. Okay, so I'm gonna have to review that another time. I don't review audio on trails anymore because of how dangerous it is. This is just crazy, guys. Okay. That's definitely something. I don't know what that light is or if it's a sign. It could just be a sign. That's the thing, like, I'm just gonna get the flashlight out here. We are seeing things. I heard that, I was like, there is a music box. I've come across many snow globes and things like that. I do wanna journey forward and see this point through and see what kind of game they're rigging for me tonight. There's something going on here. I kind of wish I was with Angelo today. Like, something doesn't feel right about this place. Like, okay, that looks like a street sign there. <clears throat> I'm going to have to be very 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 cautious on this one I don't be right about it so I really hope I'm not being uh, set up so 
sorry guys, I'm a little bit shaky. This looks like a snowmobile trail. There's like a sign here, it says 50 kilometers an hour. So that's what I was seeing. No, I don't see anybody. Okay, so there's nothing there. something over there. I'm seeing something off in the distance right there. Okay, just turn the light out here. Let's see what's going on. Oh, Angelo, where are you when I need you? This is creepy. My point is way, way out this way. And I'm already getting hits. I'm just kind of preparing myself for the worst. Okay, so... Something down here. It's another one of these stupid LED... Cheap LED candle things. And it looks like there's... Again, fortune cookies. Which I know had something to do... With Zodiac stuff. Okay, so... A little weird. Sorry, my flashlight keeps tapping the side of the glass. I have a wrist strap. I, I wish I had one that kind of came off. So I'm gonna just check these out and see what this is all about. Last time there was nothing going on, and like I said, like I really I'm getting to the point where like reading stuff on these kinds of trails, I don't really feel so safe doing it. But I'll have a look, and if the if it does seem like something that was placed here. Like, if these fortunes don't add up, then we can definitely, definitely say that it's something. Okay, I'm not hearing anything yet. Like, I don't know, man. I don't see anybody. Yeah, I'm not seeing anybody or anything, so that's okay. So, okay, I'm going to check this out right now. I've been vlogging all day and it like, my batteries are starting to die so I really hope that I get whatever this is on film, if there is anything at all up ahead. Alright, tuck the flashlight away for now. We're just going to have a look and see what these, uh, <sighs> these fortune cookies are anything. What is this one? Okay, that's in another language. This says you have keen intuition and emotional sensitivity. 2 9 11 15 20 28. I'm not even sure. See, a lot of this stuff could be like intentions too. I'm wondering if this could be another way of rigging the game using these as intent. Because that would be very, very disturbing. Okay, what's this one? Okay, so this one says... Is it French side? What is this? You find beauty in ordinary things. Do not lose this ability. 14, 18, 20, 22, 42, 43. Okay. And there was nothing written on the back of that, so that was nothing. What is this? So far they seem like fortunes, like they don't seem like anything, you know, like evil or anything. I keep hearing sounds, oh my god. I don't like doing this stuff at all. I don't like using audio though, because this one doesn't... Did this one not have a fortune? Hold on. Yo, that is weird. Okay, one of them didn't have anything inside of it at all. Okay, so that one was missing a fortune. It's 
way too dark for screwing around. I don't want to get jumped. Alright, so let's see what this is. Okay. Oh, okay, so this one does have a fortune. Okay, what does this one say? You have a wonderful sense of humor. <laughs> okay. 5, 8, 13, 14, 30, 33. So again, guys, I didn't find anything like too... I didn't find anything too sketchy or something that would have been added. These seem regular, but why? That's all I want to know is why. Like, I've been finding the craziest, scariest stuff at night. So anyways, we're going to go on up ahead. And just have a look out. Sorry. Camera's kind of dozing off again. Alright, so let's beam this up here. Really, really creepy view at night. I'm going to get my flashlight out. Just in case of anything. Okay. Alright, so we're going on up ahead. I'm really nervous. It's funny, I didn't think coming back, starting work at night would be what I was about to do. Because that's... That's a little much. Usually I try to... I've been trying to stick to uh, daylight. I'm a little bit shaky. I don't see anybody. So that's good. Look at these creepy trees. That's the thing, like people could be hiding. People could be really hiding anywhere. getting any footsteps or voices or anything like that so that's always a good thing hello there's nobody behind us so that's good coming up to my point now is that it's straight ahead. Whoa. Yo, what the hell is that? It looks like there's something right in the middle of the, uh, the pathway. Hello? What the heck is that? I don't know if you guys can see that. It looks like there's something on the ground. I don't know what that is. I just feel like, I have this strangest feeling like I'm being set up right now. No, there's nobody hiding. Hello? Okay, no. No, there's something right there. There's something like right in the middle of the path. Guys, this is crazy. What is this? It looks like some sort of doll. Hello? What is going on right now? Okay, there's nobody down there. I'm not seeing any people hiding on me. What is this? That is so creepy. So we just found this right now, guys. It says, she lies still, a shadow in plain sight. And then there you go, again. I don't know what they're trying to tell me. I don't know why I keep getting messed with, because this is just not fair. What is this, anyway? Oh, my gosh. Okay, that is definitely one of the... I think that's one of the zodiac symbols. I'm not positive. What is this? 
it looks like her hands and arms are all taped up. Oh, yo, there's something underneath her feet. Hold on. What is that? It says, you lose detective. And then there's a crosshair right there. Oh my gosh, that's creepy. Is there anything else on here? Okay, so there's nothing else on the note. I'm almost kind of scared to even remove that tape, to be honest with you. So I really don't feel up to that. I just think I have to get the heck out of here. Sorry for the stupid focus. I don't know why it does that. You got something to say to me? I'd like it if you just left me alone. Yeah, I gotta head back, guys. I can't do this. I think what, we're, what we'll do is we will review... We will review the tape at a later time, but if this is a setup and they want me to go forward, like, I, I don't want to get killed in the middle of the night. Like, this is too much. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to head back, and maybe we'll start up another day. All right, guys? Okay. Welcome back, explorers, to the next adventure of Randonautica. As always, exploring with Brad. So we have merch. We just got it recently. Um, for those who have missed the, uh, the post... Unfortunately, we can't have Square Sync with YouTube. They do not, they're do they not partners with them like they are with Teespring and other companies. However, we have merch. So I'm dropping this Earl right below, right here, so you guys can all see it. I'm going to do that on every video, but it's also going to be posted in the description. So uh, Cursed Urban helped. Uh, he, did not, he designed this uh, merch and had it set up for me, so be sure to give him a shout-out, check him out. Sorry, I'm out of breath. <laughs> today it's been like that. I've been doing a lot of hiking, a lot of misses today. So I really hope that this adds up. But anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoy this next episode. I knew there was something else I wanted to say. I'm trying to remember now. Holy smokes. I'm just out of breath. Whew. Get your breath, breath. Get your breath. <laughs> Everything's been going uh, better. I had to take like five days off. I just needed a little break from the YouTube there and be with family and stuff like that. Um, so I was gonna say is that this is called a pre-sale. So this is something totally new. We've never done this before uh, with the channel with merch. So basically people will order the merch now. Well, I was gonna say, and this shipment goes out on March 1st because a pre-sale ends. So it's like, Basically, everybody buys stuff beforehand, and then it comes out. I'm totally new to this. I've never had merch before. Um, somebody said that this is more affordable uh, as a creator to do it this way, because then you're not forking out money for all the, um, you know, the products and everything like that. And then if people buy and then cancel, and then we lose money. So we're doing a pre-sale. So be sure to grab yourself some merch. But anyways, let's get this party started. Okay. Whoo. So this is a totally new trail. I've never been to this one before. So this is gonna be interesting. Found some new forests. Oh my God. My point says that it's up this way. <laughs> so which way do I go? Right or left? Um, I'm definitely not going right as you can see how, how much ice there is here. So I think we're gonna take the left side. It's just before sundown today, so I definitely got out a little later than expected. However, I have to eat like a lot more food now, so <laughs> I try to make sure that I make it worthwhile and have breakfast and lunch before I do this, just because of the hypoglycemia. So I made sure to get all that stuff done before I left. It's funny, I actually sat with my daughter all night last night. We were hanging out, I had the TV on, of course, she can't watch TV or even see it, but she's just hanging out with me. So that was a lot of fun. She's getting uh, better with high and eye and hand coordination, is what it's called. Whew. And it's a beautiful day. I managed to catch some sunlight. I don't like going out at night, and I'm trying to cancel that out. I'm trying to give up uh, going out at night. So that's been a 
been a new thing for me. Oh yeah, there's people hiking down there. I couldn't find parking here, so I really hope that they don't tow away my car. As you can see, it's a steep slope down. We got dog walkers down here. Everybody's enjoying the day. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I made it to this main tract. It's funny too, so for all all the crazy uh, people bashing randonauts and stuff like that, it's hilarious how some of them were saying that, oh, you can't, you like short radiuses. No, you can. So I proved them all wrong. It says right in the Randonautica guide, short, there you can do short radiuses, you can do medium radiuses, or you can do long. So this one, I think it's a small one. Like it says that I'm coming soon up to the point. It's gonna be on my left hand side. Some trees here. I will be doing a video about the guide. Yeah, it says that it's in this area here. So I will be doing a video about the guide, so be sure to check that out. It'll teach you how to do Randonautica and do it the proper way. Because a lot of us go in with really creepy intents. You really shouldn't go out go in with like horror style intents, but sometimes we do just to find things. Okay, there's nothing here. Oh, hold on, what the heck is that? Okay, there's something over here. Looks like it's past the uh, past the fence line, but I kind of want to check this out. And there's a doggy. People having fun today. What is that? Okay, so I just found this now. Chilling here on the stump. I don't know what that is. So there's some sort of symbol on the back of this uh, statue, guys. So maybe you guys can let us know in the comment section what that is. I don't know. So I just found that. That's kind of weird. Weird and ominous. I'm going to put that right back there. Kind of see if there's anything else here, though. We'll search around, see if there's anything else. Yeah, I'm not really seeing anything over here. Bunch of lumber that was cut down. There's a fence going up this way. Okay. Yeah, so it doesn't really look like there's anything else in this area. I've been doing short radiuses only because I try to... Well, technically they're not... They're not exactly as short as what people think. So it'll tell us to go to an area. We have to drive to it. Well, we just don't, I don't film the driving. I know that Hunting the Dead does. Some people will actually film the driving to the points and then finding them. So that's, that's been a thing. Oh, they're just yelling around as <laughs> people are walking. But anyways, I think what we're going to do, guys, is we'll set another intent and go up, go up, the, go up the way. All right, guys? Okay. This one's back down the freaking slope. And I I'm, I already knew I wasn't gonna like this. I It looks like I have to go down this icy thing, but I have an idea. <laughs> I don't know if it's smart, but I have an idea. And if I catch this on film, this is really gonna be really funny. I don't have skates, however, I don't know. I could probably use the bottom of my jacket as like a toboggan or something okay oh all right it looks like we're headed down a slope so i'm gonna try this and see if this works oh here we go <laughs> oh man this is fun oh here we go <laughs> working <laughs> oh my ass is so sore <laughs> people wanted to think people wanted to know I'm crazy I'm crazy like a fox <laughs> it actually worked holy smokes I came from up there 
I hope I didn't wreck the jacket. Don't show uh, Betty's mom this footage, because otherwise I'm gonna get in a lot of trouble. Because I just laid on the the winter coat. Hopefully I didn't damage it. Yeah, I'm crazy like a fox. I'm just gonna take a peek at the car. I don't want anybody to tow it. <sighs> okay. Car is still there. And then point number two says it's down that way. All right. All right, so that's fun. That was a little fun. This is probably not, because this is like, this looks really steep. Ow, I don't know if I cut my hand or what. Whew. I'll be a fun dad. I'll definitely, there's still a lot of kid in me, even though I'm 36 years old and I still, I still kind of have that kid instinct. Oh my God. Okay. Next point. Sits it's down this way. But it does sound like there's some water down there, which is kind of cool. I'm just going to have to be very, very careful and cautious going down. So, let's just be very careful, ladies and gentlemen. New trail, brand new forest I took you. So hopefully there's something cool here. Oh, there you go. I always have my feet. So those that have never climbed before, you don't want to have like footwear where it's really, really flat or like skateboard shoes. Like, I don't know, I can't really show you mine, but like my shoe, there's like, I'm not gonna say like pointed or anything like that, but you don't want shoes that are really, really flat for climbing. So another, another rule of thumb, so kind of more like boots, right? But anyways, when I go down, I kind of, see how my foot's like, it's a, uh, I don't know if it's diagonal, if that's what you want to call it. It's sideways. I'm not, I'm not going straight down. So my foot isn't like this. You go like that, you're going to land on your, your back and you're going to hurt yourself. So what you want to do, is you want to have that foot sideways. You want to strife. I call it strifing. And like I said, I've never actually taken climbing lessons, but I can climb. Like I can climb a lot of crazy stuff. And with the amount of ice here, you really want to try to avoid that. So I'm just looking for dirt patches now. Like I said, I'm in a stripe. See how I almost made that mistake? Had the foot forward. You don't want the foot forward, you want it sideways. You're gonna get some tread there. Oh, so I striped again. So see how I lost my balance there? So that's all I'm doing. I'm just kind of seeing, I'm testing the ground. That's another thing too. You put your foot down, put it back up. You're testing the ground here. Am I gonna slip? I'm gonna fall. So I'm gonna strife and go sideways. And this is something you guys have to know, like Brandon Audi, you are gonna climb. I climb a lot. It's not just, uh, you know, it's not just caves and things like that. And you, you're gonna fall too. Like you, you can't just expect to do this without a few cuts and scrapes. So you will fall. Okay, so let me just check my phone here. What the heck? You see that? There's like fur. Uh, it looks like dog fur or a bunny or something like that. That's, that sucks. So maybe some animal was being chased or hunted. Okay. So this says, okay, so that it says that it's left. I don't want to be here too long today. Like I said, I do, my vehicle is in a place it shouldn't be because there's no parking here. Oh wow, that's kind of opened up. I can hear a body of water too. So yeah, so we can't be too long here. I'm hoping that I can get this done, find something within a half hour. Oh wow, so we have water here going up. I might just find like a lake or something by the looks of things, or maybe a bridge. Look at this. So I'm actually walking right across this right now, guys. Holy smokes, this looks cool. Yeah, we'll just take our time. Yeah, we got the water going down here. Canada does have some beautiful uh, forest scenery. I absolutely love it. I think that's the biggest thing that keeps me random nodding is forests. 
I love forests. I used to think that I loved abandoned buildings so much, but then there's like our long list of uh, health risks involved in that, so I've literally been focused on this. But we will check out structures, that's one thing. There's lots of ruins and things like that I'd like to see, and I love caves. Sorry, I'm just taking it in. <laughs> you see my camera panning around looking at stuff, I'm just taking it in. There are points actually up this way here. It says that it's in this area. Okay. Wow, that's kind of cool. Okay, so there's this big ugly tree full of holes. Is that the point? Like, is this, this is what it brought me to? I don't know. Uh, some trees up here. Uh, see if I can jump this thing. Okay, let's see. Uh, okay. Woo. Here we go, Brad. <laughs> oh boy. What a breath going down that thing. That slope was kind of cool. Here's some streams. seeing anything so I'm wondering if it's just this tree or what's going on no I don't hear anybody oh whoa what the heck is that looks like there's something down here so there's like a pair of legs and then it says home Let's see. What does that say? He lures? No, wait. Is that an E? Okay, hold on. It looks like an R. It says he lies still. And then at the top, I think it's a date. 10-8-9 in green pen. And then there's like a little star in that. Yeah, I don't know what that is. That's just weird. Anyways, I think what we might do, might extend the hike. I did find two things, so that's kind of cool. But I think I might, I want to check out what's up here. It kind of looks neat. I've never been here before. And like I said, I'd like to get, you know, I'd like to explore a bit before I go back. And of course I do have to get back soon, just because like I don't want the car to be towed. So let's go exploring. That's a big thing with me and Angelo now. We've been doing it. Some people like it. Some people hate it. Um, oh, hold on. Somebody was having like a party down here. Let me check that out. Because this is roughly the same vicinity we saw that. So, oh, How can I get down here? Whoa. Shit. I really don't know if I can. That's a thing. Okay, I'm holding on to this. Yeah, see I got my hand here, leaning down. That doesn't look good. Uh, okay, so I'm going lower. So this is how I do stuff like this. Okay, so I'm lower on the branch here. Kind of showing you guys a little bit of climbing while I do it. Uh, looks to me like people were having a little party here. I don't want to really touch that. Pack of smokes. A few things of Smirnoff. I mean, not Smirnoff, just vodka. People are just chilling here right by the water, taking a load off. We get that a lot as people uh, partying in Canada, they'll just find random forests. I think I'll go back up. Because like I said, I don't want to be out of here too, too long. But we'll do a little bit of exploring. My phone's in my car too, so if they take the car, I'm kind of screwed. Ugh. Okay. Let's get back to the trail. I want to see if there's anything interested up ahead. So that's why I was wanting to walk down. 
brand new trails I like that are always like searching and seeing if there's anything new so that it's like you know if I want to ran or not here again maybe I'll come down the trail set a point see if it brings me somewhere new but at least I know kind of the gist of like trails like get a, get familiar oh, it's, uh, I'm finding like uh, almost like sewage tunnels and stuff like that like around which is really weird we do though we do find things randomly sometimes a lot of times it's articles of clothing uh, Tim Hortons coffee but yeah we find these a lot too they're just chilling here it's like what the hell but I guess they have uh, underground sections quite scattered all over that goes way up there. I might have to climb up there sometime. This looks like somebody was starting to build a teepee and then just gave up. It's too big, uh, too big branches there. I've never known, um, I've never known people to uh, calm down here and actually tow people away, but so I'm hoping that they don't <laughs> for my sake. I don't really need to need fines. That would just destroy income even more. Okay, I don't know what that is. Something over there. So we're just gonna go on up ahead and just have a little peek around. See what this trail is all about. Sorry, I do stop and uh, check out my surroundings quite often. I like doing that because like you never know what you might find. Oh yeah, there's like a little bridge here. It's kind of cool. I've found things and stuff like this too before where you find like Four trees split apart. Sometimes I find things in the middle of this. Have a peek. Okay, yeah, there's nothing in there. That's what I mean. I'm always, I'm always searching. Even if it's not a random point, I'm always searching because you can find stuff just chilling. But yeah, we'll get across to this bridge. It's kind of cool. There's a water going down there, guys. Look at that. That's so cool. And there's the other side of it there. Yeah, I really like... Uh, I really like Canada for that reason. There's some really interesting stuff. Go up the trail just a little bit more, but we'll have to get back just so we don't get towed. <laughs> People love uh, hiking much of the trails here. Um, I have always wanted to do BC and Alberta and see what kind of uh, trails and scenery and things like that they have there. So that's always a thing. I don't know though, I'm not really seeing anything else, guys. I might go out a little later tonight and just do like a short hike. Yeah, so that's quite a ways back. I don't wanna go too, too far. And I'm almost at my 30 minute mark here. So I think what we'll do is we'll vlog a little bit back. We'll head towards the car. But if we do see or spot anything, let me know, guys. Um, but there, yeah, you might see some hikers and stuff like that. So if you say, oh, I saw a person. It's probably just people like regularly hiking. Yeah, see? So they are, these tunnels are underneath everywhere. I guess they go through the forest too. Yeah, let's go back. Head back towards the car. We'll see if we see anything on the way. Overall, fun day. I did a lot of driving today and walking and found nothing. So to be able to find a couple things, I'm happy. 
I have no idea what any of that means, but I mean, I found something, so that's kind of interesting. I don't know if that goes back to the car too. I don't want to get lost, but we'll check out this little area anyway. Oh, this is going down here. Lots and lots of ice, as you guys can see. I'm literally walking across ice. I just didn't think I would make it down that slope uh, walking. I had to do what I did. These trails aren't maintained, so. I had fun though. It was like a toboggan or something. Oh boy. Yeah, so I just don't think this goes back to my car. Um, it looks like it's, oh, yo, what the heck is that? Okay. I not see anybody. I just found a hat. Okay, there's nothing in the hat. Hello? Somebody dropped their hat. Yeah, I don't know if that goes back to the car or not, guys. We'll check out this little slope. If it doesn't, I think we're looking at crossing the river. Okay, so careful. Last thing I want to do is be stranded because the cell phone is in the car. It's an idiotic thing. I just don't like carrying the phone. I've had so many times that I've lost it. But I really should because, yeah, if your, tow your car gets towed, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know exactly how to get back. Oh, hold on a sec. I think this does, whoa. Oh, Brad, come on. I think we can make it. Maybe this does go back. Oh, whoo. I see some house, whoa, whoa. Oh, yikes. Bad ice today, so. It probably is a good reason to go back. <laughs> I don't know how I land on all, on on my two feet. Okay, on all fours, oh my God. Uh, <laughs> look at that though. Oh wow. So we can see the sun peeking right through. That's actually beautiful. That's really cool. I think I am back. I think I got a shortcut back. I don't know, or this is the other exit. We'll see. I'm seeing houses here, which is a good sign, so we'll just have a look. Whoa. Okay, you're good, you're good. Ugh. Okay, so this goes through here. Yeah, that looks like a different trail. So we don't want to do that. I'm almost debating if I have to go back, but I'm hoping that this leads to the car. Uh, don't run on ice. I'm an idiot sometimes, so I might have to take a, a cut. Oh my God. Wow, that is a trail. Yeah, I'm gonna have to stick by the water because I mean, I think I'm on two different parts, guys. Okay. I'm gonna see a lot of first person uh, climbing and stuff in this venture. Oh, here we go, this is the good stuff. I like that. That's soft stuff, soft serve ice cream. That's what I call that. You got your soft serve ice cream and stripe. You make it across, go back to the car. Oh wow. River runs through us. Okay. So we have to get on the other side. I'm just wondering how I go about that now. So I'm kind of hungry. I think we're having like a roast beef dinner tonight, so I'm a little excited. Oh, here we go. Okay, there's those 
bottles, I think, and cans? Is that a different spot? But it looks like I can climb this little area back. So that's what I'm showing you guys right now. Holy smoke, zoom in. Whoa, we're, whoa! <laughs> I didn't even know that was on the whole time. That's hilarious. Okay, here we go. This is my way back. This stuff you still have to be careful with because I don't want to go down that, so. Look here. Oh, that's ice, that sucks. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna grab that. Don't try this at home, kids. Okay, I'm gonna grab this one here. I'm gonna be careful that this one doesn't split. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, Indiana Jones, let's get the hell out of here. Okay, yeah, we're right back to this point here. So we'll climb up there. This should lead us back to the car relatively quickly. Okay, camera might cut off a sec because we're almost at our... All right, we're headed back to the car. Trail, trail. Good stuff, we're back. So now we just have to make our way back to the car. <sighs> see, as you can see, daylight falters pretty quick in uh, Canadian winters. <sighs> Here's that little slim path I like. So that's really cool. <sighs> I think right by the time I get back to the car it's gonna be supper time so I'm looking forward to that but I think what we'll do because I don't want this video to be a very short video I'd like to see some more stuff maybe we'll go a little after dinner and just see if we find anything else there's that stream there <sighs> new trail though awesome really happy with today hopefully my uh, jacket didn't sustain a lot of damage because I did slide down a hill probably didn't though so that'll be okay oh. oh that's right I have to climb that this is the other side her I was thinking I was gonna go down another uh, another ice avalanche <laughs> I think I slipped down all right here we go let's get out of here before they try to tow the car oh all right. Ugh. Gotta have rough hands for this stuff. As I said, always strife, guys. Don't try this stuff though unless you've gotten the hang of it. I'm not. A, I'm no expert by any means, but that being said, you can get hurt. So. Okay. Okay. There's other cars here. Good sign. I'm just hoping that my car is still here. Where's my car? Where's my car? Welcome back guys to day two. I'm out randonauting again. It brought me to the, uh, it's called the Trans Canada Trail, which is actually massive. I'm not sure exactly how far it goes, but I've heard that like it does stretch like across Canada. So anyways, I came out daylight again. You guys keep telling me if you are gonna go alone, we prefer that you guys go during the daytime. So that's just, uh, that's just something that I've been doing. This next point is off to the right somewhere. I'm gonna have to pull up my phone very shortly. A little bit out of breath. I've been pretty busy at home doing a bunch of stuff and getting going. 
taking care of the baby. I've been playing with the baby a lot. I actually took a five day holiday, so I'm back at work. I gotta hustle this month. There's actually only 29 days, so it kinda sucks, but it is what it is. Okay, so this point is actually pretty close over here. What's that sound? I don't know if it was like some farmer or something cutting wood. Oh, what the heck is that? Can we see something right here? It's that symbol again. And then again, it's all cut up. All right, I'm just gonna have a check. See what this is, guys. I think I can tear it from the one end. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna just have a look at this real quick. I did hear something down that way, so I'm gonna have to keep an eye out. I feel nervous when I find this symbol on things. I've been coming across this stuff very... Oh, okay, so there's some images here. What is this? I keep finding images too, that's the thing. Okay, so we just found this right now. Okay, so I found this photo here. That does look like Paris to me. Let's go through it. No, there's nothing on that. Okay. Holy smokes. Yeah, like, I don't know. I have never been to Paris, but that could be a Paris flag. We've been finding images to do with this. Yeah, this is definitely Paris. There's the, uh... I can't even remember what it's called now. The Eiffel Tower or something? I can't remember, but I know that that's a parish structure. So just found that. Oh, yo. Okay. There's some Zodiac stuff. And there's the, uh... What does that say? Annuit Septus? The pyramid on it. I think that that has something to do with Aries. Ace of Spades, I know, is a death card. But there's a jester again. Braden was talking about that. Oh, holy crap. Too late, detective. I told you not to test me. There's a second coordinate. Bring my money or your son is next. Okay, that's disturbing. I don't know what this sound is. I, I kind of heard something over here. I'm gonna have to be very careful because like I said, these people are dangerous. Oh boy, I don't see anything. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what to say, guys. I've had run-ins with these people before. I just don't know. What the heck is that sound? Yeah, there's something out here. I'm just gonna have to be very careful, guys. I keep hearing like a knocking sound. Just a little bit nervous. Hello? I don't see anybody. Is anybody out there? Yo, what the hell's that? There's a bunch of footsteps in tandem. And then it looks like there's like a, like a voodoo doll or something like that. What the hell's that? Look at a voodoo doll. That looks creepy as all hell. Like, I don't even know what to think of that. So we just found this right now. Whoa! Yo, bro, back up! What are you doing? It's this guy again, this mother 
Stay away from me, man. Stay away from me. I'm telling you right now, stay back. I'm not I'm not moving. I'm not going anywhere. What are you doing? Oh, 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 Get you son of a Come here, man. Come here. What are you going to do? Oh, 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 that guy was going to try to kill me. Oh, 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 you hear that part? Oh. Stay back there, man. These people are psychotic. That's the other guy. This fucking guy, man. I hate this guy. He's a psychopath. Stay back there, bro. I need it, man. I don't know if he has other people with him, that's why. Guy. Yeah, you stay there. Stay there, you crazy son of Some vehicle down there. Okay, let's get going. Oh. 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 Let's get the hell out of here. That was way too close, man. <laughs> I'm not gonna actually stab the guy. That's the thing. I really didn't know what to do. That guy is massive. Like, he's built like a brick house, so I don't wanna. I don't want to get in any trouble. But yeah, I think I'm gonna head to the car and just get out of here. That guy probably could have took me in a fist fight, so I didn't want to start that shit. He's leaving. It's like he's patrolling this area. Like this is the second run-in with him. Freaking nutcase, man. Yeah, I think I'm gonna continue on to the car, guys. We'll go from there. Yeah, so it really sucks. Like, I was intimidated by this guy. I thought if I ran at him, like, I could scare him off. But yeah, like, I feel like a coward because, like, I didn't fight the guy. But at the same time, like, that guy was massive. And, like, Angelo's always told me, like, if he's a bigger, bigger, bulkier guy, like, it's kind of a 50-50 at that point, or not even, it could be like an 80-20. So, I just thought, I don't know, like, this guy probably knows how to throw down, and if I start coming at him, like, even though I'm fast, I might not be as strong, and, like, even my blows, like, if I punch him, it probably won't work. So, I just thought to myself, like... I don't really think I should go through with this. Like, I should just get out of here. Because I know these people are very, very dangerous. They're cunning. Like, they're really good at outsmarting us. And that that really took me for a toll. Like, I've never had anything like this happen before. Like, a trap set up like that. That was crazy. Um, even going back to Cursed videos, like, he was showing me. He actually showed me one of the devices he found. It was like a shotgun round in a jar so it's like basically a landmine so I just didn't want to I really didn't want to put myself in danger especially with this individual because I mean he's come at me before with weapons I do think that he has something to do with marbles but I'm not 100% sure like the way I've been feeling it is that there's a there's like a few people at work here there's either two or three guys 
one to, one of them has some sort of mental illness because we know this because of what he was saying. But yeah, I just don't. I don't debate it anymore. Like I know what I can and can't do. And for this guy, like I thought, yeah, maybe I could take him. I wasn't gonna hurt him. I wasn't gonna stab him because, like, I know, like, you know, self defense stuff in Canada. Like, if you you try something like that, you know, I could get serious serious trouble and like me going home to my family and my little girl is more important than getting involved in something like that so i didn't see any weapons on the guy i saw a rope on him he had a he had a rope i know that and i didn't know if he had any of his buddies around or if marbles was in the woods so i kind of just i kind of just took off Yes, I feel like a coward. Like, maybe I could have stood up to this guy. But at the same time, I kind of just had that bad, bad gut feeling. I was able to get out of the trap, which was good. So, you know, I hightailed it out of there. Sorry. <laughs> I do want to get these guys. Like, I do want... I want justice, but at the same time, I want to do this the right way. And I would rather catch them. They seem to catch me off guard every time. I don't know how they do this, but they seem to catch me off guard. I literally just thought that, okay, it's probably just a farmer or somebody that's like like living back here and they're just, you know, cutting wood or whatever, but I just wanted to be sure. I'm like, I'm hearing sounds. I found these I found this letter, I found these photos. I just kind of want to see what the heck this is. Like, is there something out there? And then this all happened. But anyways, guys, um, I'm going to get going. I'm actually already headed home right now. Um, but yeah, we have uh, another uh, audio recording. So I'm going to play that at the very end and you guys can hear that. I don't like playing these in the forest anymore because me and Angelo have been set up finding like uh, audio recordings at times. And I just don't feel safe. Like playing one by myself where it's loud or anybody can hear it around me as well so now when I find them on my own I just choose to bring them home I just think it's safer it's safer for you guys to hear that audio there but anyways I hope you guys really like this video be sure to smash the like button hit subscribe we got a lot more coming for you um yeah I'm sorry I didn't stick up to this guy but I mean it is what it is Until next time, shadow and blade sight.